Hi, let us understand how to do a verified commit with Git. Verified commit, it's going to give an acknowledgement to the user saying that commit is made by a verified user. Say for example, if I get into a commit, here it will mark it as saying verified. Let me show you some other repository. You can see the difference. Say for example, in this particular repository, I made uh, around 11 commits. This particular commit is verified. That means I have signed this particular commit using my certificate and uh, the user will know I am the actual user who made the commit. Before getting into the configuration, we need to understand the way how the keys works. For GPG, we will be generating private key and a public key. Always keys exist in pair. And the same thing works with uh, the SSH key that we are generating for doing the SSH login. In a very, very high level, let's understand how this key pair works. Whenever we are generating a key pair, we will be having two keys, private key and its corresponding public key. And the private key, as the name suggests, that's private to the user, public key will be given to the public. And the keys can be used for two different purposes, one for encryption, another for the signing and verification. Encryption, it's going to encrypt the data and uh, only the user who are supposed to know the information, they can decrypt. So the public key will be available with the public and using the public key, they can encrypt. But it cannot be decrypted with the public key. It can be decrypted only with the private key. So whoever wants to send the information, they will be encrypting with my private. They'll be encrypting with my public key and sending the file to me. Since I will be having the private key, I will do the decryption. The same way, whenever I wanted to acknowledge saying this particular commit or this particular document is written by me, I will be signing it. That's the digital signature. I will be using the private key to sign the document. The document will not be encrypted, but going to add a digital signature saying that's signed by myself and uh, since the public key will be available with the public anyone having the public key or i can put it in a public repository somewhere they can download and they can verify whether that's signed by my private key or not so in a quick summary private key will be used for decryption and signing public key will be used for encryption and verification so anything that is encrypted with the public key can be decrypted only by the private key that I am holding. Anything that is signed by my private key can be verified with the public key. By understanding this particular concept, we are going to understand how to configure the Git repository and the VS code to do the verified commit. For that, we need a key pair. We can generate the key pair using the GPG tools. We can install uh, Cleopatra. So this is a software that's available to generate the keys and manage the keys. This is how it looks like. And we can have the keys. And this is the key that I have generated and I am using it. I'm not displaying the private key, only the ID is visible. So there is no issue. I can generate the key over here or I can generate the key being within the VS code. Once the key is generated, I can list and see what are all the keys available. Let me execute the command gpg list secret keys and list the key id in the long format. So this is the long format of the key. Short format, it's going to display only few characters, the last few characters. The same command I have added as a part of my GitHub repository. So verify it to execute it in your system. Now I'm going to generate 
a key i can execute it within the cleopatra or within the vs code i'm going to execute within the vs code so that uh, we don't need to worry about adding it into the path or making sure the vs code to understand where the key is available so it's going to give the options what or the type of uh, key that i want to generate i will be generating uh, rsa the default and uh, the size of the key i will be generating it as uh, 4096 bit and after how many days the key should uh, expire i'm going to give zero and i'm going to use it forever in case if you're going to give it to some employees within your organization or employees joining your project for a number of days you can issue it with a specific duration so i do not uh, need any expiry and it's going to ask for the name address I'm providing the comment and uh, everything is okay. Let's see. Oh. Here the email ID should be same as what is configured within the GitHub repository. It's going to ask to set the passphrase. Remember the passphrase or else you cannot export or import the keys. If you want we can uh, export the private key and the public key and store it in some secret location. The sample is gpg export and then provide the key id the name of the file to which it needs to be exported. And uh, the secret key is the important file you have to keep it very safe. That's equivalent to the password. It should not be shared with anyone. And uh, the export command will have the suffix dash secret dash keys. And this is the ID that I'm going to export. This is in the long format. This is in the short format. Both will work. Here if you see, this is the long format that's going to have the short format in the end. Once the keys are uh, generated, we can uh, Check the list of keys available using the command list secret keys here i do have two secret keys and i can mention which key to use it with the git as a part of the git config we can mention the user signing key the short id or the long id of the key and for committing it should be signed with the pgp sign key Already I made this, in case if I change it, the new key will get added as a part of the default configuration. This is the first part of it, that is, I have the private key and the private key, I am storing it in the VS code that will be used for signing the comments. And the public key should be shared with the GitHub repository and uh, that will be used for verification for that purpose i have to get into my github repository settings ssh and uh, gpg keys here i can add the new key in case if i wanted to add the new key i can generate the key the key block will have this particular information public key block starting and ending copy the block and add it so that's going to add the public key with the key id you can verify it whether you have uh, added the right key or not using the key id and we have to make changes in the visual studio code as a part of the preferences as a part of the preferences settings here yeah, within the user workspace i can check for
enable commit signing enables commit signing with gpg key so i have configured what key to use and uh, it should sign while committing it and i have provided the public key also with this if i do any commit it's going to mark it as saying signed by the user so let me go ahead and make a small change let me go ahead and do the commit This is the passphrase it's going to use to sign in case if you wanted that uh, settings to be changed you can get into the settings of cleopatra configure cleopatra gnpg system private keys and uh, make after n seconds so it's going to remember the pin for this many number of seconds so only once it will be asking after that it will not ask now let's get into the GitHub repository. I made three commits. All three commits are verified. Let's go ahead and uh, remove that particular setting. Edit. View preferences settings. Remove this option. No sign verification. I change the file. Let me go ahead and do the commit now. Commit is done. Let me verify within the GitHub repository. So I made the fourth commit here. We do not have the option verified. And this key needs to be added within the GitHub repository only once. And the global configuration, we have to do it only once. In case, if you are going to commit it with the key for a different organization, then you can go ahead and change it within the global settings. That you will be seeing it as a part of this command. Here, we have the configuration, git config like how we will be setting the user ID, the email address for the git config, we can set the commit option as well. So in a quick summary, we learned about how to do the verified git commit and how to do the configuration within the VS code, the overview of uh, the private key, public key, and how that is used internally for signing and verification, and how to add the public key as a part of the GitHub repository.